en tant que dessinateur, est-ce que tu voudrais éventuellement dessiner pour des personnages plus euh, mainstream, comme justement Spider-Man ou les X-Men, quelque chose comme ça? I, you know, it, it, again, it's the same with, with the writing. Um, it's fun. Um, I enjoy drawing these. Every so often, Marvel hires me to do a cover for something, you know, so I've done some Spider-Man covers, and it's fun. It's fun to do, or some X-Men covers or whatever, and um, it's, it's fun to do it, but I don't necessarily know if I want to make, uh, you know, a long career out of it, um, mainly because I get bored pretty fast, and, and I certainly don't want to, you know, Um, commit to drawing, you know, 20 issues of Spider-Man or something. Um, but um, also, it's just it, it it more interests me to do my own material at mm -hmm. this stage. And and uh, yeah, I mean, I, I have nothing against these characters, and and I definitely enjoy doing them in in small doses. But but um, I don't think I would want to do. It, it, the other thing is that it it matters more to me less. It matters less about the character to me and more about the story and who I'd be working with. So when the opportunity comes to do Batman, Batman. with Grant Morrison, sure, I'll jump at that <laughs> because because he's my favorite writer and, I, and he's a great writer and, and I really enjoy it. If it was another writer, nothing against any other writers there, but if it was another writer, I probably wouldn't, you know, be as, as quick to, to do it. Um, You know, or conversely, I mean, it would have to be a script that was given to me that I read and went, wow, this is a really great Spider-Man script or a really great X-Men script. Um, but I don't have any burning need to draw these characters just to draw them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So um, it all comes down to the script. And, and so, you know, I will always entertain. The, the great thing about working on in these mainstream characters and things is, is recognition. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the pay is good. And, you know, um, but... It, it really is it needs to be a script that that I believe in and that I'm really interested in, in drawing because it's a lot of work it's a lot of work to to invest in in doing a comic it's a lot of work it's more work than a lot of people think it is I think it's very exhausting and if I'm going to put that much time and effort into doing it it's something that I really have to believe in and uh, and so yeah I mean it, it, it just all comes down to the story you know I, I'll, I'll draw Iron Man if there's a really kick-ass Iron Man script you know on va parler un peu de Sea Guy. Euh, comment tu trouves que ton, ton style ou ton approche a changé entre le premier volume de Sea Guy et le second volume de Sea Guy? Um, I think I just got better as an artist. I think there was a big gap between them. There mm -hmm. was there was five years. Yeah. Um, and uh, I ju I think I just improved as an artist over those five years, as you do. You know, you can't help as you as you're working constantly. You know, you get better. And it's actually very difficult for me to go back and look at that first oh, Sea Guy series at the moment. Yeah, it's you know, I mean, I don't think it's bad, but but I look at it now, and there's an approach that I took to it that I definitely wouldn't do now. And there's a lot. I think there's a lot of inexperienced drawing and stuff in it. Um, but uh, and uh, you know, I think. Um, In the second volume, I took a more uh, graphic, stylized approach to it. Mm, more detail, maybe in in sort of maybe the world building, mm -hmm. but um, I think I, if, if you look at the characters, I mean, I've kind of made them more angular, more more stylized. Like Sea Guy's got a very kind of geographic, like a geometric face. He's got these very sharp well, cheekbones, and yeah, exactly. And and uh, he, in the second one, he's got a very square, like an actual square jaw, jaw and yeah. cheekbones and things. And and that was. Um, just kind of an interest uh, I you know had worked on my book the apocalyptics mm -hmm. and uh, I there were very kind of graphic shapes as well for those characters and um, that was just kind of a, a an attempt at, at um, breaking characters down into easy shapes so that you can draw them over and over and over again um, and just kind of trying to give it a different look and and the whole sea guy has this very strange kind of Saturday morning cartoon by way of David Lynch kind of <laughs> kind of feel to the whole thing and so I, I tried to express that in the art as well and and um, I, I get a lot of flack um, a lot, my, my work is not popular with a lot of people because well I, I think a lot of people like it but there's a lot of people that don't like it I get a, a frequent comment that my work is too cartoony which which um, It, you know, drives me nuts when mm -hmm. people say that. But, but um, in Sea Guy, it was particularly appropriate that yeah. that it that it was kind of cartoony like and 
Twin Peaks meeting Saturday night morning cartoon. Exactly, and 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 I think that that's that makes it extra un, that makes it extra creepy, Unsettled. extra unsettling. Yeah, when it, the thing that that I find really interesting is when you do kind of uh, stylized, you know, cartoony work. Um, it it makes the 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 strange darker elements kind of seem that much more unsettling because it's this intrusion mm -hmm. of of um, of darkness and and you know reality into into a cartoon world and and uh, that was something that I was really interested in exploring and and I wanted to separate it from the first volume just kind of artistically just just to satisfy myself and and kind of feel like I'd kind of grown a little bit so ça ressemble à quoi un script de Sea Guy Brent scripts um, particularly with something like Sea Guy mm -hmm. um, not so much with Batman but but certainly with Sea Guy my initial reaction on reading a script is I go oh my god <laughs> oh. and then and then because I go yeah it's easy for you to write but I'm you know I got to draw this and uh, but then it's then it's actually kind of fun um, because He describes a lot of things in the script that that are things that that um, haven't been done before, and and it's not easy because I, it, there's not an easy reference to go and and uh, you know look at at a film or a comic or something that's kind of got similar material in it as kind of inspiration. It's something that I have to kind of invent. Uh, Do you have to uh, exchange a lot back and forth on email? Or? Yeah, yeah um, I I don't have a lot of direct. I've met Grant many times. I don't have a lot of direct contact with him when we're working on because mm -hmm. he lives in in uh, he splits his time between Scotland and Los Angeles, and so um, I don't have a lot of contact with him. And a lot of it is through email. That's you know his wife kind of his, takes care of. Yeah, his wife is also his kind of his business manager, and so like I'll send him. Uh, an email asking questions about the script and then she'll ask him and then she'll write the answer back to me and but she's I mean she's as trustworthy uh, okay. trustworthy as he is you know if I get an answer from her I know that it's directly from him as well he's just he has to focus on writing and not answering emails mm -hmm. with questions right um, but uh, so the yeah the scripts can be very um, very detailed and 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 talk about things that are, that have haven't really been seen before and and it's it's a challenge but but that's kind of what's fun about it too is is trying to kind of realize what's in his head and what's what's been described um and and kind of invent something from the ground up that's never been done before Tu travailles sur le troisième volume en ce moment ou c'est ça s'en vient The third volume will hopefully come by the end of this year. Um, I mean, at the moment, there's been Batman to, mm -hmm. to deal with and, and some other things. Um, we there, The third volume is still, you know, uh, as far as I know, on the table. Um, we do have to f finish the story. Um, and uh, w hopefully, you know, Sea Guy has not, not been a huge success it's kind of this strange little vertigo right. indulgence that that uh, yeah exactly you know and and some people you know the 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 people that do like it really like it mm -hmm. which is great but it it hasn't really smashed through into the larger thing yet and, and you know hopefully now they can advertise the third sea guy volume as you know from the creative team of batman and robin mm -hmm. which would you know hopefully give us a bit of a, a Put boost the light on it too. yeah exactly mm -hmm. um So you know, hopefully we'll we'll get around to that. We definitely will do it. It's just a matter of when. You know, Grant's really busy with Batman and stuff. I've I've got Batman to do, and then some other things that I got to get out of the way. So, but there hopefully there won't be as big of a wait between two and three as there was between one and two. <laughs>